Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool automatic electric three-slot payphone. And this is Daryl's equipment from PA and this is the initial checkout of this really cool payphone. This unit is in very good condition for its age and it's a great example of an automatic electric three-slot payphone including its informational signs. Now Daryl has a telephone booth and he will be installing this unit back into the telephone booth once it's been repaired and converted. So that's a really cool situation. We're going to be converting this unit so we want to troubleshoot the transmit, the receive, the handset cord. We also want to go through the hook switch. We want to make sure that the hook switch is working properly. And we also want to go through the rotary dial. We want to clean oil and adjust the rotary dial and make sure that it is working properly. We also want to rewire this unit the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We're going to install a modular line port so that you can simply bring up any length line cord, any color that you choose, plug right into the back of the payphone, makes for a simple, easy plug and play connection. We will also be installing a bell and bell circuit in this unit. We want to go through the coin validator. We want to make sure that all the coins are falling through the coin validator and into the cash box. We will be going through the entire payphone while it's in the shop. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this unit. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool automatic electric three slot payphone. And we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting, repairing, and converting process. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now, and we want to go ahead and run some change through this unit. We're going to go ahead and start off with a quarter, and that will gong one time. We're going to use a dime. That will ring the bell two times. One nickel. That will ring the bell one time. Another quarter. Dime. And one last nickel. Now we want to go ahead and check our coins in the cash box. So we'll go ahead and open our vault door and set that to the side. Pull our cash box out. Open our door. We can remove our lid. And Daryl is getting rich with bubblegum money. We'll go ahead and set that to the side. Now we want to run through a little bit about how the cash box works. Now that the cash box has been removed from the payphone, our linkage is in the locked position. It will not move forward, so the trap door cannot open, and you would not be able to put the cash box into the payphone this way. So what we want to do is go ahead and remove our lid, and we're going to set our latch a quarter of a turn clockwise. That will enable the linkage to move and the trap door to open so when you're putting the cash box back into the payphone that's what it would look like and the coins can fall through the trap door. When you remove the cash box the trap door shuts and you cannot open it and if they had a seal on the cash box or a lock you could not get into the cash box until that was removed. So now what we want to do is go ahead and set our latch a quarter of a turn clockwise and we can put the unit back into the payphone and put our vault door back on the unit. We'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay we're back now and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention that we have an amplified pickup connected to the network of this payphone so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier backed by the video. It has a button on it. I can press the button and give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the payphone. Now we can go ahead and use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now we're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. We have a nice smooth return on our rotary dial now. I'm going to end in a 2. Now we want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello. Hello. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, we're dialing out. We have transmit and receive. 
we can go ahead and press this button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out, totally take the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. To hear the time and temperature, just stay on the line. Today is Friday, February 28th. The current time, 8.33 p.m. And the temperature, 46 degrees. We can go ahead and hang up. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Go ahead and hang our handset up. Now that we know that this really cool automatic electric three slot payphone has been repaired and converted, we can return this unit back to Daryl and he can enjoy this three slot payphone. I'm sure it's going to look great in the telephone booth that he's going to reinstall this unit into. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www dot a1 hyphen telephone dot com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959 thank you for watching and have a great day